So for the chain mail, you want to get a gray sweater. And you want to see if you can find one that's kind of got like a bumpy uh, pattern to it because it'll look more like chain mail under the tunic. And then I just cut off the bottom that didn't look chain mail-ish. And then I cut a rectangle out of another gray sweater. I couldn't find one with quite the same pattern, but this was the lower one, so I didn't worry about it much. And you put one of those on the left side, and then I cut another one and put that one on the right side. So I'm gonna, and then I sewed both of those to the back layer of the gray sweater. Then I cut two more rectangles out of gray sweater and sewed those to the front. You want to make sure you just leave them split in the center because that's the way it was in the movie. So for the bracers I cut a piece of pelon flat across the top, angled off the sides, the other side straight down, and then the bottoms kind of taper out to a point at the center. You want to make sure it's long enough to go from your wrist to your elbow. And then I cut kind of a little round edge square out of pelon. You want that big enough to cover the back of your hand, leaving your fingers exposed. So then I took some distressed brown material. Laid the pellon pieces on the back side and then cut out around them. And then I just hot glued the overlapping edges onto the back side of the pieces of pellon, just like that. So then put a little bit of hot glue on the flat side of your little square. You're just going to glue that to the bottom of your bracer. And then you just add some sticky back velcro to either side of the bracers so it can close. And that should fit right around your arm. So then cut yourself a rectangle of dark brown material. Then go over it with a lighter brown. I'm using the same one I used for the tunic here. And then you go over that with a strip of distressed brown material. And then you'll hot glue all the strips together and you want to make sure that they're long enough to go around you while you're wearing the Gimli tunic. And chain mail. So then you'll cut kind of a long octagon out of some pellon. Cover that with some brown distressed fabric. And then you'll cut out another slightly smaller octagon out of some craft foam and you'll cut out the inside and make kind of a little design. I don't have a pattern for this because it's not the real design. This is just something that I put together. And unfortunately it kind of ended up looking like a butterfly in the center, but so you just want to draw a little design in the center. And then you'll paint the whole thing gold and then you'll hot glue it onto your distressed covered pelon. Then you'll just glue that pelon octagon onto the end of the belt. Put a little sticky back velcro on one side, the matching velcro underneath the little buckle you just made, then fasten the two together to make a belt. And so then here's what the completed costume looks like. The boots were just regular work boots that looked rather dwarvish when we put them with the costume. The pants were just a pair of baggy brown sweatpants. And then the gloves under the bracers were just a pair of leather work gloves. And they were nicely beat up so they looked good and dwarvish for the costume.